this career tour of sorts is taking place as some students are preparing for graduations and others are looking toward long-term job options. The Operating Engineers Training School in Sparrows Point was the second stop of an apprenticeship tour planned for dozens of students, mostly juniors and seniors. For Journey Walker, it was a real hands-on experience. So far, I'm really interested in the field. Um, this has been my favorite by far. I just got to operate the machine and it was really um, interesting. I would say it was very interesting. I had a lot of fun so far. Fun and a possible future for students looking for career options other than college. We understand all students do not want to go to college, so these opportunities that we are taking them to today can give them an idea of what they want to do so they can solidify their future. A virtual piece of heavy equipment inside the engineering training school building captured the attention of student Antonio Young. It's like I'm like experiencing it in real life. Even though it's virtual, it's still like a good way to like see what you can do and just get the ropes of it before you do the real thing. It's the kind of student reaction trainers in the engineering program were counting on. What was your path? I mean, you, you it went I graduated high school and I came to this exact school, and now I'm, I work here. It's, I've been here for 22 years. Wouldn't trade it for nothing. It's an experience shared by a Baltimore City State Senator who also has first-hand apprenticeship experience. I went to school for free, Tim, and I actually got paid on the job. So it started off 20 years ago, it was $12. These young people are starting off at $17, $18 right now. College may not be totally off the table as some employers permit students to work and go to school. In Sparrows Point, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.